Congratulations on your purchase of the Datamax Pro Dash Data Logger Display. This touchscreen dash allows you to easily customize the look and feel for your particular application, and we are only going to keep making it better. So without further ado, let's dive into the initial setup. Step 1. The first step is to watch this video all the way through, as well as the initial calibration video on how to set up the main module. Watching both of these video tutorials will make your installation significantly smoother. Step 2. The next step is to get your Datamax main module properly calibrated for your installation using the laptop software. You can find the initial calibration instructions in your primary instruction ma manual, or you can watch the initial calibration video available in the Datamax tech support page. Now please note that the last step of these instructions are to click on the Configure LCD Module button. As a Pro Dash customer, you will not be clicking on that button and will instead be following these custom instructions. After you've properly calibrated your main module, it is recommended to do a test recording to ensure that you performed that initial calibration correctly. Step 3. Once your main module hardware has been calibrated, we can now set up your Pro Dash to talk to your Datamax. To do this, turn on the system, and then click and hold anywhere on the screen and a menu will pop up. Click on More Options, then Settings, and finally select Forget All Sensors. The screen message area will likely say Discovering Sensors, and then Sensor Discovery Complete. Congrats, you can now start customizing your screen however you like. Step 4. Now that we know what each of your sensors are, we can customize the gauges and connect them to the sensors you want. We have prefabricated two different pages of gauges that you can toggle between by swiping left or right. Now that the Pro Dash has learned your sensors, you can touch and hold a gauge, select Edit Gauge, and then here select, from a, different, select a different sensor from the Gauge Sensor drop-down list. You can also change the size of the gauge, the look of the gauge, the refresh rate, the min and max range of the gauge, and if you don't like where the gauge is, you can also delete or move it. You can also create a new page by touching and holding anywhere on the screen, selecting more options, and then add a new page. There are an infinite number of combinations, and the customization and options are unlimited here, so feel free to modify and tweak it however you would like. Step 5. When you are completely done editing your gauges and pages, and you are happy with how everything looks, then we need to save the gauge package. This allows us to restore back to a point if we end up having a problem or if we accidentally delete a gauge we didn't want to. So simply click and hold anywhere on the screen, go to more options, then settings, and then click on save. There select save gauges and calibration, and the screen should go away with a little message that says saved. Step six, congratulations. You have now completed the initial setup process of the Datamax Pro Dash. Now you can fire up the car and do a recording to ensure that everything is working properly. Once you confirm that everything is reading correctly, then you're ready to go racing.